I want to say thank you to all of the people who bought courses, who are going to buy courses. And I want to say thank you to the Nerd Tribe. I support the people who support me. Right now, we have a new monetary policy. And I want you to examine what is happening under this new monetary policy. For many, many years, the Fed kept interest rates ultra low. And this allowed the stock market to boom. This allowed housing to boom. And now that monetary policy has changed. But here's the problem. The average person got used to cheap money. And this year, interest rates are at 8.3%. There's a potential, there's a chance for interest rates to get to 10% this year. It could happen. More than likely, it's going to happen first quarter of 2023. And here's the news. There are still people buying houses with these high interest rates. Now, the number of people buying houses is way down, but there's still people buying houses because here's the thing. The real estate prices did not dramatically appreciate in all zip codes. So there's places where you can still get a two hundred thousand dollar house. And people are coming up with the money, the credit and the down payments to buy these houses. So they're still buying houses and going back to the 70s when interest rates, I think their highest point was 17 percent. But the houses were much, much cheaper back then. And this is something else, too. People usually only had 10 and 15 year mortgages. So with the new monetary policy, because the Fed is not going to stop. These interest rates are going to keep going up. They're going to keep going up and they're going to keep going up. So here's another tricky part of the equation, though. Inflation. As much as they have raised the interest rates, inflation has only come down a little bit. And we may have inflation for 2023. Inflation may come down to 6% next December, not this coming December, but next December, which means that the policy, the new monetary policy that we have at the Fed is going to continue for 2023. We may see interest rates at 12 percent. And guess what? You're still going to have people buying homes. You're still going to have people buying homes because there are people who want a house and there are people who need a house. And the people who need a house, they're still going to be buying homes. Uh, I feel that there will be a slowdown. I feel that this will impact every segment of the economy. However, I also feel that there's a segment of the economy that will not be impacted. And these are the people. These are the people at the top of the economic scale who can pay cash for a house. Interest rates don't matter to these people. They're still going to buy houses. They're still going to move. But this new monetary policy is throwing everyone. It is throwing all of the people who are part of the cash is trash. I talked about this. There's there's a lot of people who tell you that cash is trash in this current monetary environment. Cash is the king, it's the queen, it's everything. And if you are an average person, this new monetary policy is not going to be your friend. It's not going to be your friend. So what should you do? I'm going to give you some of the things that if I was an average person, and I got some insights. This is one of the things that I would do. Number one, 
I would do a personal analysis of my financial situation, including what is the likelihood of me getting laid off? I would look at my industry. I would look at what's going on. There's usually information about that, what's coming. Then I would put myself on a very strict budget. I would stop buying things I don't need. And then I would do a credit analysis. I would look at, do I have cars that I have car payments on? Can I sell those cars and get out of those cars and buy cash cars? Because I would do, I would take a few months to look at my overall financial picture and I would do everything I can to mitigate, eliminate and get rid of debt. That would be the first step I would do. And that's something that the average person would do. And then once I got my debt under control, I figured out my job situation. The second thing I would do is start some type of small business. That is going to be your only protection. I know we have high inflation. The economy is in a recession. We're going through the global reset. If you start a small business, you will make more money. You will put yourself in the position to win. You will put yourself in the position to elevate. You will put yourself in the position to actually take stock in the American game. You will put yourself in a position to win. Now, is this going to be easy? Nope, it's not going to be easy because you're going to go working from working your regular job to now working your regular job and also doing more. When you get home, you're going to go to work and then you're going to come home and you're going to go to work again. Two, three, four years of this. It's not forever, but you got to do it. And then I would start to build out because one of the things is everyone's talking about building a personal brand. If you're an introvert and you're a person that doesn't have somewhat of a, a life, you don't have hobbies. It's going to be real hard for you to build a personal brand. It's going to be real hard. But. One of the things that you can do, and I'm getting ready to start teaching some free classes. Uh, one of the classes I got to set it up and I'm going to start marketing it is the credit mastery class, because here's something else that's going to happen. If you have good credit and you don't have a lot of debt, you will still be able to get credit. But if you have the term maxed out credit, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to get more credit in the future or in a case where you really need credit. It's going to be hard to get. It's going to be real hard to get like me. Uh, I'm proactively, well, prophylactically, I have taken all of my personal credit cards out. Now, what, what I'm getting ready to do, and this is some strategy I'm going to teach. On my oldest credit cards, I'm getting ready to put some spend on all my oldest credit cards. You literally don't have to do this every month. You could do this like twice a year and you'll be good. And I'm gonna use them and I'm gonna buy something 20, 30 bucks, maybe a hundred, then pay it off over time. You heard me, I'm gonna pay it off over time. If it's like a hundred bucks, I'm gonna pay 10, 15, 20 bucks a month. That's what I'm gonna do to keep my personal credit straight. And I'm not ever going to use my personal credit to get personal credit cards. I got enough. Um, the new game is to get business credit. And this is why you need to start a small business. This is why you need to get your debt under control. Um, I actually bought my new car under my business name. Now I'm waiting to get data points to see how this is going to work out because they gave me a 72 per 72 month loan, uh, four point something percent interest rate. And I am not going to take that long to pay this car off. First payment, I'm going to make a payment. My payment's 2,500. I'm going to make a payment of 2,500 and then I'm going to make a principal payment of six figures. And then I'll just pay the rest off over four or five months. Because they, they, they're like, hey, don't pay it off too quick. 
So I will leave this loan in place for about six months, four to six months. So once I make that six figure payment, um, 90% of the car will be paid off. So I'm not going to pay hardly any interest over these six months, which is cool for me, which is cool for me. But I'm getting ready to do some new training. Uh, recently, I did a live training over at B-School for Hustlers. A lot of people appreciated content and people have noticed that I have changed and I've changed my delivery. I've changed because once again, I've literally blocked all the channels that just drove me nuts that these people who are putting out this felonious content that you could do little enough and make all this money. I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on the people who bought training, the nerd tribe, the people who support this channel. That's what I'm focused on. Uh, that's what I'm going to put my heart, effort and energy into because here's the thing. We're in the recession. We have the great, great reset. And I don't care how bad it gets. There's still always opportunity. There's still always opportunity. Right now, uh, my friend who's in real estate, she just picked up another property and it's right up her alley. She picked up a house and the house needs a ton of work. Um, she picked up the house for $180,000. She figures she's gonna have to put 100,000 into it and she's gonna rent that bad boy out. Um, so, she may, she's like, you know, she might just do it down and dirty and only put 50,000 and just get it rental ready because she's kind of debating what she wants to do because she makes her money from rent and she also makes her money from appreciation and she paid cash for this house so she doesn't have a mortgage on it. So she has a lot of flexibility on what she can do and she has the business credit to fix this house up and not dip into our reserves. So we will see. But this happened just recently. I just got the text and I'm just sitting there like, wow, okay. So right now you got people struggling to buy a house and she found a deal of a deal. The house just needs a lot of work. And that's why she was able to get it so cheap because she figures once she gets it, you know, if she puts 100K into it, the house would be worth 400000 And then this is a house that she can rent out for close to $3,000 per month. So that's what she's looking at. Because if she can rent out for $3,000 per month, that is $36,000 a year. Six, six, seven years, she would have got all of her money back. And then she would be into profitability. The, you know, that's the, the basic level of the house. So about 10 years for her to get all her money back and to get the money back from the rehab. So, you know, once again, she's got a really good portfolio. She's got a lot of paid off houses. But once again, just I tell you this to tell you that as bad as it is, as crazy as it is, there's always a deal. There's always opportunity. And if you choose to remain an average person and you're not trying to straighten up your finances, if you're not trying to create a strategy or an agenda, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for the average person. So once again, this is what's coming. And I feel the Fed is going to have several interest rate hikes next year because inflation is proving to be quite persistent. And with that persistence, um, I, I don't really see the Fed as having a choice. And the Fed is trying to tank the economy to slow this inflation down. So we're going to see what happens. We're going to get a greater understanding of what's going on. So understand in this new monetary policy, the things that worked for the like the last 11 years are not going to work in this current economic climate. They're just not. They're just not. 
So this video was sponsored by the corporate game. Let's roll this beautiful bean footage now. What's going on? My name is Glendon Cameron, and I want to introduce you to the corporate game. What is the corporate game? The corporate game is a collegiate level educational portal that will teach you how to have your best version of your life. I got a question. What would you do if you had the money that you needed to have the life that you wanted to have. And for the average American, an additional $3,000 per month makes a huge, huge difference. So this is the collegiate level corporate game, teaching you things about business, money, corporate structures, business credit, all of that, plus a lot more. Now here is the deal. You can start a business. You can do it with the right level of training and the right level of execution. And here's the thing that you have to understand. Starting this business is going to take time. I know that we are in a situation where every day you're hit over the head with information saying that you can take this course you can hack this and you can literally quit your job in 30 days this isn't that you can do it but it's going to take time and one of the things is and this is something that i never hear anyone talking about is that you have to change who you are to go ahead and to set up a situation where you can become a corporate citizen. Now what's a corporate citizen? A corporate citizen is a person through a job or a combination of businesses that makes $250,000 per year. At this level, you can get rich. You can become a millionaire within 10 years following this blueprint. And that's what we give you in the corporate game what it is and how to play. So if you wanna sign up, if you want to be a millionaire within the next 10 years, go ahead, sign up for the corporate game. The link is in the first comment.